I'm currently working on my LG Chem battery packs. I had to do slight modifications to the frame of the packs, so I wanted to go through that with you guys. When you get these LG Chem batteries, this is what they currently look like before the modification. These LG Chem battery packs are bolted together with the battery plates that were designed for this pack. As you can tell in the back, the, the screws are bumping up against the plastic frame, so that's creating stress and resistance that is unneeded. Here, maybe. Let's see. Let's see, it's slightly pushing downward. Not that big of a deal, but we definitely don't want that to be happening. So, you could tell here we cut a small section of the plastic. Um, part of the frame so that the screws aren't bumping up against it. So here, here's the uh, comparison. When you put two modules together in series again, that's when the plastic piece of the frame had to be cut even further because I wouldn't have enough space to clamp these tabs on this module up against the cells on the other side. So one side is cut with just the tabs and then the opposite side of this module is cut to this length. And I'll show you what I mean. So, so far I have three sets of 6S packs built in front of you. I'm still working on building the fourth. So this is a success pack, this is a success pack, and this third set is a success pack. And I'm still working on my fourth one because all these cells will be put together in series. What you see here is each module across the board here is put into series. So these two cells are put together in series, these two get, guys are put together in series, and so on and so forth. On the front here, you could tell I still have a few tabs that are not bolted together because that's where I'll be putting these terminal tabs. I just don't know whether how I'm going to assemble them yet, so that's why those aren't assembled. Just a really quick tip for you guys when you are bolting these battery plates up against the modules, you start to bump against the terminals and that's an, a really easy way to short out the cells so one of the things I did is heat shrink the metal portion of your hex driver also you want to heat shrink your hex socket that is holding the nuts in place as far back as you can go so that when you're when you have your hex driver on one side and the hex socket on the other side that you're not bumping up into these terminals. This is where, this is the front side of a module and this is the back side. So you could tell here, each cell per module is put together in series. And then where I showed you before where the plastic piece of the frame was cut out past the cells in between each module is put together. Each nut that was bolted into place we used blue Loctite which is Loctite 243 and this is the one I used. The reason I did that is because I didn't want any of these hardware to come loose. So there is one issue that I'm having uh, during the time I'm building these battery packs is the fact that the system of the motorcycle will be pulling well over 100 amps where my entire battery pack is built at 60 amps which is, is well over a 1c discharge rate and that's not what you want in a lithium ion pack the hotter the temperature of these battery packs get the the degradation becomes worse throughout the time that you use these batteries. So from what I read is that these battery packs cannot exceed 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it starts 
getting into 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then that's when the lifespan of the battery starts to decrease substantially. So now, if any of you guys have any ideas, I am trying to think of a thermal management system, which also means a way to cool these battery packs. So if you have any ideas, please comment below. Some of the things I've thought about were either installing heat sinks on the side of these battery packs with, with fans running or um, welding aluminum tubes across each module and water cooling the entire battery pack. So if any of you guys out there know a good way to cool the batteries, um, in, a mo uh, in an efficient manner, that would be extremely helpful. If there's anything that I end up finding out as far as cooling these battery packs, I'll keep you guys posted. But so far, this is my update on building my 96 volt, 60 amp hour battery pack by LG Chem. And thanks for watching.